run it like you mean it, and this gun means business. Hey folks, Kristen Elberts, the wilderness woman for guns.com. If you've followed me for any amount of time, you know I like shooting big caliber rifles and handguns, and today is no exception. I have the brand new Bighorn Armory Black Thunder. This is a 500 Smith & Wesson lever action. I love lever actions, plain and simple, and it doesn't really matter what caliber. But when you're talking the big bores, the 460 Smith & Wesson and the 500 Smith & Wesson, there's only one place to look, and that is with the folks at Bighorn Armory. These guns are made basically by hand and on top quality machinery in Cody, Wyoming. This is an all-American company producing some hecka strong actions and powerful chamberings. The new one here, it's built on their Model 89 spike driver line, but it's all blacked out. It's their first really tactical looking gun in the lever action world. And this is indeed a black thunder and thunder it does. If you're a gun nerd like me, you'll remember back to some of those old classics like the Winchester Model 1886, one of my favorite all times firearms designs because it bridged the gap between black powder and smokeless powder. It had to be built on a stronger action. So what Bighorn did was go back and draw from those designs and beef it up even further. It's a hefty gun and it's a well-made gun that can stand up to the heavy pressures of the 500 Smith & Wesson. Loading the Bighorn Armory Black Thunder is as simple as using the side loading gate. There's our Hornady 500 Smith & Wesson, big medicine no matter what you're after. Loading is as simple as sliding them up into that magazine tube. And there we go. When we're ready to run the action, just like that, picks it up. You run these guns like you mean it and you will not have any problem with function from a gun from Bighorn Armory because those guys are paying close attention to detail in building these hardest hitting lever actions. Why might you want a 500 Smith & Wesson not only on a handgun, which is quite a whopper, let me tell you, but on a rifle? You have a wide range of bullet weights that you can shoot in that chambering from 200 grains all the way up to, believe it or not, 700 grains. Your 200 grainer is something that I would use for deer. If you're going up to 700 grains, it'll stop a train. This is a very wide bullet range and will basically take down any game in North America, Africa, or the world. Let's look a bit at the actual gun, the Black Thunder, and what we notice right away is what Bighorn calls their first tactical lever action. I'm not wild about tactical on all these lever actions, but what you're getting are really some practical features. You're getting the blacked out laminate stock, so wood laminate, it's checkered, it's got plenty of nice grip there. You'll see you have the swooping rounded lever on the pistol grip, so that fills the hand nicely. You can really throw that gun up quickly, and you'll see when I do that, this is a very wieldy and short gun because it is their carbine. So the Black Thunder uses the shorter 16 inch barrel length. If you look at some of the other big horns, you'll see the 18 inch barrel on their rifles. One feature I really like on the Black Thunder is the optic setup. We start with the iron sights and what we have at the rear there is a Skinner sights peep. I really like peep sights a lot. I find I can shoot very well with them, much better than with other iron sights. And a nod to Andy and the folks at Skinner. They make quality, completely 100% made in America sights. So you got the Skinner sight there that comes standard on the Black Thunder. That mates up nicely. We have a white bead front sight. So when I put that rifle up and I look, that white bead just pops and your eye naturally centers that on the target. In addition to the iron sights, you'll see what we have here is a scout scope rail. This gun is ideal for scout scopes, red dots, you name it. This length of rail opens up the options for your scope mounting. There's no denying that the 500 Smith & Wesson is a hard recoiler in a handgun, but when you put it in a rifle, especially one of this weight, almost seven pounds, 10 ounces, when you put an optic on there, you're pushing eight pounds, the recoil is really not that bad. Yes, you know you're pulling the trigger on a 500 Smith & Wesson, but I don't think it's bad at all. And the same with the 460. These are very well-built, overbuilt guns. And what else aids in that is this very aggressive muzzle brake. Here's your tactical look. You've got 
a very aggressive brake that's redirecting those gases, so it's really keeping the muzzle rise down. It certainly adds some noise on the range, so pay attention to that hearing protection, but a recoil even in a 500 is not bad, so you can wow your friends when you pull the trigger on that 500 Smith & Wesson. The black laminate stock includes your sling studs, which you'll see there, but it culminates in a real thick, that's at least a one inch, Packmeyer decelerator pad. So you get a quality recoil pad in addition to the muzzle brake, and it's all aimed at shooter comfort and recoil reduction. We spent some time on the shooting range this one and shot some accuracy groups. I opted not to throw the scope on there, but just to use the Skinner sights. It takes a little bit of practice when you're switching from shooting mostly with a rifle scope, but after a few rounds downrange, I was feeling pretty good and shooting some darn nice groups. And I would feel comfortable reaching out to 100 yards with those iron sights and the 500 Smith & Wesson. There's one. I can't quite see the impact from here. We'll take a walk downrange after we've put three rounds and see how we do. But you'll notice in a 500 Smith & Wesson, which is known for a lot of recoil, with that muzzle brake and the weight of this rifle, the recoil is really nothing to speak of. Let's go one more time. Let's go take a walk and check out the target. All right, here's a closer look at our 75 yard target shooting the open Skinner sights here on the Black Thunder. You'll see I've got a little room in the group, but I'll tell you what, um, for the first couple shots working with this peep, I'm feeling pretty confident that 75 yards, um, reaching out to probably 100, I'm guessing we're gonna fall right into this range, which is really a nice spot to be zeroed in at. Um, this thing going out for deer or larger size game is certainly going to be right on the money. We could add a scope and dial it in even more. I'm sure some of you are more practiced with peeps, can outshoot the heck out of me, but the gun does its job. It's low recoil, it's hard hitting, and it's quite a surprise from what I was anticipating in a hard hitting 500 Smith & Wesson. I'm Kristen for Guns.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to keep an eye on that Guns.com vault because we do have Bighorn Armories come in used from time to time and you might just snag one heck of a deal. Before you leave, be sure to like, share, and click that subscribe button so you stay up to date on all kind of reviews like this one.